Yeah, check that out. That's where I got injected. All right. Hello, Guinea Pig Dan here, not Peter the Cat. I decided today I would do a more serious video, relatively speaking, and uh, actually appear on camera. So uh, yeah, this is my ugly mug. Yeah, and uh, might have gained a little weight due, due to quarantine, but um, I'm doing all right. Um, I want to talk about uh, what it was like getting both Pfizer COVID vaccines. There's a lot of uh, people that are worried. I, I think recently uh, the Johnson Johnson vaccine had to get pulled because uh, like six women had blood clots and there's been a, a similar thing that happened with uh, vaccines in Europe. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people kind of nervous about side effects from, from the vaccine. And I thought I'd talk about my own experience uh, getting both Pfizer vaccines and um, uh, just for a bit of background, like um, I, I wrote a whole journal on DeviantArt about this, but um, I've worked retail for like the past year and uh, yeah, I had to wear a mask like the whole time and everything. And thankfully I have not gotten sick during the pandemic. I mean, maybe there's a chance I got an asymptomatic case of COVID, but uh, I don't know. And um, if I did, then I would have spread it to my whole family. So that's probably, you know, the only way I know that I've never gotten COVID. It was my sister that scheduled uh, when I'd get my vaccine in March. So uh, I guess she deserves credit. And um, I got my first shot on March 15th. And um, I, I took uh, selfie videos showing both the, uh, getting me, of me getting both my shots. And um, so anyway, my dad drove me to uh, um, the CVS where I got my vaccine, you know, just in case, like, I don't know, it gave me a side effect or something and I couldn't concentrate while driving back. So that was nice of dad. Basically, I, I think they like, you have to wait like 15 minutes after you get the shot. And um, when, when I was vaccinated, like, it was, you know, in my left shoulder. I, I prefer my left shoulder because I'm right-handed and, you know, I still want to draw on everything. But, um, like, it caused a bit of soreness when I first got it. But um, it wasn't, like, too bad. And I didn't faint or anything in the CVS. So after 15 minutes, so we were just good to go. And um, throughout the day, like, you know, my, my shoulder was kind of sore. It was, like, it, it felt kind of similar to, like, if you work out, you know, your muscle kind of burning afterward. And, but it wasn't, like too bad and it was mostly just around mostly concentrated around my bicep but I was able to like still do things like use the exercise bike play video games I never got a fever or felt sick or anything so uh, that was good but then the next day after on the 16th like it felt like the pain was kind of growing a little bit but you know I could still function normally and I you know, didn't still didn't get, didn't get a fever or anything. I kind of got a bit worried, like, oh my gosh, am I going to start getting side effects right now or later? But um, but by the end of the, the second day, like, I was like doing some art, and then I realized, oh, the pain in my arms like going away. And I thought, like, you know, after two days that'd be it. But then, like, the morning after, you know, uh, the seventeenth, suddenly the pain just came back, and not only was it in my bicep, it started going through my whole arm. Like, I felt pain in my uh, my lower arm, and I even felt a bit of pain in, a bit in my hand, and you know, the places where your fingers meet your hand. And it's like, oh my god, what's going on? Like, uh, like, but I still did not get a fever or anything. It was just the arm pain that, that happened. And um, it would come in waves. Like, there were times where it wasn't as... It, it didn't hurt as much, but then there were other times where, you know, it did just really hurt a lot but it, it never got to the point where I couldn't function I couldn't like work or draw or anything it's just uh just an annoyance and I think it took about a week or so for the pain in my my arm to just finally go away and um then after that I was good but um it was uh but then you know I got the second vaccine in April on uh, April 6th and this is the one where I was a bit more nervous because, you know, a lot of people get side effects, they get sick, and they say it's almost like you have COVID, but, um, but, uh, it's kind of weird because I went into, back to CVS, my dad drove me again, uh, they injected it, and, um, strangely, like, the second time, I, I don't know, it was a different doctor that was giving me the shot, and, um, 
the way they did it, it's like they kept it in just a little bit longer than the first time, but then they took it out. But it, it, the the injection wasn't as painful as the first time because you know I really hate needles. So, uh, but then after that, I felt the same soreness. But I think you, you know after the first time I gotten used to it, and it's really strange. The soreness was not as bad as the first time I got the vaccine, and um, and you know I was you know just waiting. Okay, am I going to start getting a fever? Am I going to start feeling like shit and everything? But uh, strangely. I was surprised the second vaccine was actually more pleasant than the first. You know, completely, you know, not what I expected. Like, I had the soreness in my arm, but it wasn't as bad, and it went away in, I think, about five or six days. You know, just a little bit uh, quicker than um, the pain, how, how long it took the pain, and, you know, after I got my first shot to go away. So, um, you know, it was pretty pleasant. Yeah, I think the only side effect I might have had was the day after... Like, I had a light headache, but it wasn't so bad that, you know, I, I had to stay in bed all day or something. Like, it, it, I could just ignore it. And, it. and then the headache could have just been from me not sleeping enough anyway. So, um, yeah, so it's been about a week, and um, I never had any side effects from the second vaccine, and I think I'm doing pretty good. Although, um, after a week, though, I do feel some strangeness, like... I thought I'd been hearing voices in my head, like maybe Bill Gates telling me to worship Satan or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. And then, like, some other weird things started to happen. Like, there are some days I feel like putting a blanket on my back and flapping my arms up and down. Yes, I can fly. I can fly. Up, up, and away. I also sleep upside down during the day and wake up during the night. It's really strange. I can't explain it. Damn dogs. Keeping me awake. And then not only that, when I go outside during the day, I put on sunglasses and I try to, like, see everything by echolocation. thing doesn't work out so well. Oh. You know, it's really strange that, you know, these side effects didn't start happening until like about a week after I got my second vaccine. And, um, like, I'm not aware of anyone else getting these strange side effects. Like, I've seen non-furries talk about getting the vaccine. You know, they get sick a day or two and then they're fine. But, like, I, I have a suspicion that maybe being a furry is what's making me act strangely. Like, um, I'm not really sure. I, I know that COVID came from bats, so is that, like, having an effect on me or something? I wasn't entirely sure, so I asked my physician, Dr. Peter the Cat, so uh, here he is right now. Oh my god. Medical school is so boring. How does anyone graduate this stuff? Oh, hello. Dr. Peter the Cat here. I'm a student of Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, and Dr. Mario, so I know my stuff. Now, uh... Anyway, my patient guinea pig Dan here has been acting really strange, you know, thinking he's a bat. And I believe I found out the reason why. I've taken samples of the COVID vaccine uh, from his blood and urine, and I've analyzed them, and it's allowed me to reverse engineer uh, what Dr. Fauci and Pfizer did uh, in order to develop this vaccine. And I think I found out their secret. You see, the secret is they use actual bat cells in order to create this vaccine. And I think I know the reason why. I think Dr. Fauci watched the movie uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet the Wolf Man, and uh, in, that, in the movie, uh, Theodore gets bit by a werewolf, and that turns him into a werewolf chipmunk. But then, uh, spoilers for the end of the movie, uh, Theodore then bites the wolf man back, and that causes a reverse effect that cures both of them. And I think the thought process here was that if they take bat cells, you know, since COVID came from bats, and put that into the vaccine, and then inject that into a human, then when the, vir you know, the COVID virus encounters the bat cells, you know, it'll get confused and it won't know, am I infecting a human or, I'm, or am I infecting a bat? And then that causes a reverse effect that eliminates the virus. And, you know, now the person can't get COVID. And uh, it, it's really highly advanced science. You know, I, even I was impressed. It's really above what I can do, you know. I mean, I just learned brain surgery last week and that was difficult. But this is like a whole nother level. This is like Stephen Hawking levels of brilliance. But anyway, um... In humans, you know, it doesn't cause a problem, but in furries, you know, this is just disastrous. I mean, holy moly. Uh, the only way I think I can treat Daniel is either, like, years of psychotherapy and beating, or he just changes his persona from a guinea pig to a bat. Yeah, uh, what do you think, Daniel? Um, 
Okay? Wait, Daniel, I'm not done explaining everything. I think I've got the perfect theory to explain why it is you're acting like a bat and other people have, you know, post-vaccine symptoms and others don't, and you know, they're fine. Like, I think I've got the perfect explanation that covers everything. Uh, you know how, like, every copy of Super Mario 64 is personalized? Well, I think every COVID-19 vaccine is also personalized, and that's why you get, you know, so many different reactions to the shot. You know, you know, some people get aches or chills or a fever. Some people think they hear Bill Gates' voice. You know, others think it's the mark of the beast and they want to worship Satan or whatever. But that's what I think is going on. You know, every COVID-19 vaccine is personalized. I'm going to take everything I've discovered about the COVID-19 vaccine and put it in one of those iceberg images. You know, have, like, the best-known stuff at the top and the least-known stuff at the bottom. And I'm going to get, you know, tons of views on YouTube with my amazing theory. And Shut up, ah! Peter! Uh, you shut up, Daniel. You're just jealous of how brilliant I am. Peter the Cat, everyone. That's Dr. Peter to you! Yeah, Dr. Peter. Whatever. What a quack. But, um, anyway, yeah, um, these side effects will probably just go away after time. Sometime. I don't know. One commenter on Fur Affinity that said, oh, it contains cyanide. The COVID vaccine does not contain cyanide. If that was true, like, then, I don't know, people would have been suffocating after they got their injection. I don't know. It's... I'm not sure where they got that information, just, it's not true. But, um, anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, guinea pig Dan. Bye, everyone, and, uh, say goodbye to, uh, Dr. Peter the Cat also. Mm, you know what, Daniel? I don't appreciate the way you question my credentials. You know what? Screw it. It's time I gave you a checkup. I'm gonna test your reflexes right now. <laughs> Peter, no! No! Oh! Uh, uh, oh! Please! Uh, stop! You're not